Video card, also known as graphics board, accelerator card, graphics card, or video display adapter, is the device which converts the image from the computer memory into a video signal for the monitor. But such device was not always part of a computer. The first computers did not have a monitor at all. They were outputting the results onto a printer. Many programming languages still use the print operator, which displays certain data on the screen. So it wasn't convenient to be digging in all these papers with intermediate results, trying to find the answer. Moreover, cathode ray tubes had been already invented and were widely used. Thus, in 1981, MDA, that is monochrome display adapter, became one of the first IBM PC graphics adapters. It worked only in the character mode with 80 by 25 characters resolution, physically 720 by 350 dots. It supported five text attributes, regular, bright, inverse, underlined and blinking. It couldn't transmit any color or graphic data. The color of characters was also conditioned by the type of a monitor used. At that time, these image output devices had not become yet a separate class of video display adapters. They rather were digital to analog converters mounted on the motherboard. At the end of the 80s, IBM invented VGA, Video Graphics Array. It is a de facto standard of a video display adapter used to the present day. A 720 by 400 character resolution was added for emulating MDA, as well as a 640 by 480 graphic mode with the access through bit planes. The history of the video adapter development starts somewhere from that moment. The prime period occurred after 1991, when SVGA standard appeared. It significantly expanded the possibilities of a computer as a device for creating and processing graphic data. A new stage of graphics adapter development was encouraged by graphic user interfaces, which had been introduced in many operating systems. A new term, graphics accelerator, appears. It means a video adapter which executes certain graphic functions on the hardware level. Thus, big image blocks could be moved from one screen area to another, for example, when moving the window. One could also fill image areas, draw lines, arcs and prints. The video adapter also supported hardware cursor and many other things. There was a direct impetus for the development of such special purpose devices. No doubt that a graphic user interface is convenient, but it requires quite big computing resources from the CPU. A modern graphics accelerator relieves the CPU of a greater part of the computation necessary for a final output of the image onto the screen. When 3D graphics came, the graphic adapters also had to do computations associated with building and processing of three-dimensional objects. Modern video cards are not limited to a simple image output. They have a built-in graphics microprocessor which can do additional processing. Thus, it relieves CPU of these tasks. Recently, there has also been a tendency of using computational powers of graphics processors for solving computing tasks.